Good evening and welcome again to another Wednesday prayer meeting. And today um, I'm just going to share a scripture before we get to the time of praying. And the scripture that I would like to share with us is from the book of 2 Chronicles chapter 7. It's a very well-known scripture. And this is what it says. So I'll read uh, 2 Chronicles chapter 7 verse 12 to 14. And this is what it says. It says, uh, Then the Lord appeared to Solomon in the night and said to him, I have heard your prayer and have chosen this place for myself as a house of sacrifice. When I shut up the heavens so that there is no rain, or command the locusts to devour the land, or send a pestilence among my people, if my people who are called by my name humble themselves and pray, and seek my face, and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven and will forgive their sins and heal their land. I think we will all agree that this is something that we desperately need, not just as a country, but as the whole world right now. Because of all the things that are happening in the world, the world needs healing. Our hearts need forgiving. Uh, we need God to move and we need him to move desperately. And so there's a couple of things uh, that happen in this scripture. But uh, before we get to that, there's a larger context uh, that within which this uh, scripture was written or within which these words were spoken. And the context is, uh, it is just after the celebration of the dedication of the temple that Solomon, King Solomon had built and, de and was now dedicating it to God. And there was a massive celebration that lasted a, s a whole seven days of celebrating and dedicating the temple. And then straight after that, there was another celebration for another seven days. So it was a massive two week celebration. And at the end of that, then Solomon prays on behalf of the people. And he kneels down, he prays, and, and he says a couple of things in that prayer, which is also very, very interesting. And so what God is saying now when he appears to him, he is responding to what Solomon had prayed in that prayer. And, and there's a couple of things that he says. He says, you know, when I act out in my anger against the people, you know, against my people, because this is what he says. He says, when I shut up the heavens, when I command the locusts, or when I send the pestilence among my people. So this is God acting out uh, in anger against his people who have rebelled against him, who have sinned, and whatever the case is. And so these things that God is bringing to the people, he is bringing to them in judgment because of what they have done. He's bringing them actually to bring them back into the relationship with him that he wants for them. And so, and so he says, when I act out in anger against you, when you have sinned, when you have done what is wrong, and these things happen, you know, there is no rain that is coming on the earth, where there are locusts that are devouring the fields, where there, there is pestilence and, and sickness and disease and wars and, and all of these other things, when they begin to happen, um, if my people who are called by my name, if they humble themselves and pray. And so there's, there's three things that I've picked up from what God is saying here. He says, if my people who are called by my name, if they first humble themselves, that's the first thing. That is when we recognize, you know, that we are not God, that we want to be God and that we have done things, you know, to take that place away from God. But we need to recognize and to realize that we are not God, that we need to let God to be God to take that rightful place in our lives, of, of having that authority of being the Lord of our lives and, and, and setting the tone, you know, for, the, for our lives. And so if my people who are called by my name, if they humble themselves, that the, that's the first thing. And the second thing is that, and then they pray and seek my face. And I like that because number one, for me, it shows me the power of prayer, that prayer works. When we pray, God hears from heaven that God's ear is open. He is listening to the prayers of his people. So that's the first thing is that prayer works. God answers prayer. God, you know, works through prayer. But also prayer is not everything. Prayer has its place, but prayer is not everything. So he says, if they pray and seek my face. So prayer, we, we can't just, you know, uh, pray for all the bad things to stop. We can't just pray, you know, for God to bless us, for God to, to send rain upon the earth, for God to, to let all these diseases and sicknesses to stop. But we also need to go on more than that. We need to seek his face. We need to seek him for himself, not for, for the sake of the answers that we need from him. We need to seek God. And so he says, if my people pray 
and seek my face. Prayer is not everything. You know, he also wants us to seek him, to seek after him. That means, you know, going into scripture, reading the Bible, not just to get answers to your problems, but reading the Bible because you want to know God who is a personal God, who, who is a relational God who wants to be in relationship with us. And so we need to go on to seek his face. But that's also not the end of it. He says, and if we turn away from our wicked, wicked ways, if we repent of our sins, if we stop doing the things that have got us to the place that we, that we find ourselves in, you know, there, there are things that, that we do, you know, that, that uh, cause God to respond in the way that he responds. And what we need more than just to pray is to seek God's face, is to, is to pray, you know, is to seek him, is to want to know him, is to read the Bible, is to uh, get close to him because we want to know him. But more than that also, um, it is to repent. It is to um, turn away from our wicked ways. It is to go back to, to where God wants us to be. It is to go back to the life that he has set for us, to go back to the things that he has said unto us. You know, so many times we actually know what the right thing is. That is true both in our lives as, as individuals, personal lives, but it is also true as nations and corporately and organizations. We most of the time actually know what is right, but we end up not doing what is right, maybe because of the gains that we see from doing what is wrong, you know, maybe from the pleasure, maybe from the money that we will get. But most of the time, we actually know deep down what is right. And so this is what God wants. He wants us to go back to where we are supposed to be. He wants, to, he wants us to go back into the relationship with him that he wants us to have with him, where we trust him, where we, where we believe his word, where we take him upon his word, where we follow after his footsteps, live the kind of life that he wants us to live and and that's the whole thing you know that it always comes back to a relationship he wants to have a real a true and and a living relationship with us he wants to have a genuine relationship with us he cares about us he cares about our feelings he cares about the things that we are going through and he wants us to also care about him in that same way to care about the things that he cares about to care about you know the people that he cares about to to try by all means to live the lives that he wants us to live and so i do believe you know that um, if we as as the nations in the whole world if we as people as families come together and we do these things and we humble ourselves and we pray and seek god's face and we turn away from our wickedness i do believe that he is you know gonna hear from heaven as he says he says then i will hear from heaven and i will forgive their sins and i will heal their land and so as we pray let us um, let us have this attitude and mindset you know that it is not just to pray for our for answers to our prayers. It's not just to pray for God to do what we want him to do, but more than that, we want to be in a right, in a, in a relationship with him. We want to know him because we care about him. And, and as we pray, you know, um, there's a couple of things that have happened. And one of the things that I would like to mention is that we pray for um, Uncle Natala's family. The Matebula family, they, have, they are going through a very difficult time right now, where in a space of one month, they have lost both their, the, both their parents, their mother and father. And it is a very difficult time. They are grieving, and we need to come alongside them and grieve along with them and, and strengthen them and encourage them and be there for them. And so even as you pray right now, just lift them up to God. And there are also other things we, um, in terms of the prayer request that we're going to be praying about tonight let us let me just pray as we begin heavenly father thank you so much for this moment lord god thank you so much for this uh, powerful and very timely scripture lord god that if we go through difficult uh, difficult times and difficulties in our lives and we humble ourselves and we pray and we seek your face and we turn away from our wicked ways that you will hear from heaven help us lord god to do what we need to do father god to go back to where we were lord to go back to where you want us to be Father, we thank you so much that you are God who hears and not only that you are God who answers prayer. We lift your name up. We honor you. We, we bless you. We glorify your name in Jesus Christ's mighty name, now and forevermore. Amen. <laughs>